Hello there folks and welcome to SHOT Show 2023. I'm Stephen Bresnow with Bullets for Bucks and I got David here with CZ USA and he's gonna talk to us about one of their 600 rifles. Thanks Stephen, thanks for coming by. This is the CZ 600 Lux. So as you and I were speaking earlier, it's a little bit European, it is. It's got the, the wooden bolt handle, the Euro stock, right? They call this a Bavarian style stock, to be all kind of honest with you. The fish scale checkering which is the Lux stock. It's something you'll see a lot of times, not only in the 600, but you'll see it in some of our other rifles too. But the 600 is a platform that's very unique. This particular Lux has bases for 700, Remington base, okay? Iron sights, and if you look at these iron sights, in fact, I'm gonna hold it up where the camera can see this. You can see right through that skeletonized rear sight, okay? So you can see your target beyond the sight. It's not like a flat sight that's blocking your vision. You can kind of see through it. The magazine locks in and out. Okay, pops in and out and locks. It clicks in and locks. So if you have a gloved hand and you push the button and you're carrying it, you're not going to discharge the magazine. It is a controlled round feed. Okay. And another, another neat feature is probably the best thing on it is a completely adjustable trigger weight. Okay. So it comes preset from 1.3 to three pounds. And you can adjust it with just a turn of a So you sit, how, do, how far down can it adjust, do you 1. know? 1.3 pounds. 1.3, so like most factory rifles, you can't adjust down that low. So that's really cool to see. And um, love that wood bolt know, knob, really, really classy. I mean, it's just got a beautiful look to it. And it's not, I mean, I don't mean this in a negative way, but it's not like so shiny and fancy that you feel like you couldn't use it for hunting, but it's like elegant, yet you could still feel comfortable using this for hunting um, in the brush and whatnot. And it's, I think it's got a 60 degree bolt throw, is yeah, that correct? 60 degree bolt throw. If you, another interesting feature is the safety is a cross bolt vertical. Okay. I'm trying to turn it where the camera can there see it. Up and down this way. Interesting. And if you follow it, it's real quiet. Okay. I've actually never seen that, I don't think right. anywhere else. And right. That's pretty neat. It has a little, uh, like, cocked indicator, I guess we could call it. Is and um, is this a three-lug bolt, do you know, or let's pull it out there. Oh, okay. oh six, six lugs. Okay, so it can really lock positively in there. Yep. Um, like this, this forend's, like, narrows down, so if you have smaller hands, really comfortable. Got your sling swivels. Yeah, your sling swivels are one inch wide. Another feature is if the safety's on, the bolt's locked. But if you want to unload it, you can push down the bolt release open it and you don't have to put the gun on fire to do that Eject all right your round drop your mag and you got a safe gun that you never had to put on fire i really like um a safety that locks the bolt i know like other manufacturers that you know like tika do that but there's a lot of like especially u.s manufacturers that don't do that right. and it drives me crazy because when you're going through brush your bolt can pop open on a stick out and if you're loaded you lose a round and then you got all the kinds of debris snow ice rain whatever gets in there and so for me, it's like, why don't every, every, uh, every safety should lock your bolt when it's on safe. Um, yeah. So really beautiful rifle. Anything else you want to mention or? Check out CZUSA.com for more information. There you go, folks. Look forward to seeing you back on the next SHOT Show 2023 video. Thanks for watching Bolts for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.